I'm delighted to say I'm joined by Jerry Armstrong again, you know, our regular football pundit. And I have to take you back, first of all, locally to uh, the Irish Cup final, Cliftonville against Glen Torn. Cliftonville already the league champions, you know what I mean? They had a dress rehearsal, if you want to call it that, against Glen Torn this week. Not really, only four of them against Glen Torn. That really won't count, will it? It won't in a cup final. Um, everybody will say Cliftonville are red hot favourites, especially when you've got Boyce. Uh, up front and, and Gormley who scored over 60 goals between them this season um, they're, uh, they're probably the best I've seen a lot of their games this season and they're the best football inside I've seen in the Irish League this year but it's a one-off it's 90 minutes at a neutral venue where basically anybody can win and for me it, it's it's six of one half a dozen of the other Glen Torn still have a good chance but Cliftonville will start favourites. In the rest, you know, Tommy Breslin now uh, controlled the Cliftonville and Eddie Patterson was with Cliftonville, you know, and we covered many matches there. I too saw them a lot of times this season. I thought Cliftonville were very impressive. But Glen Torn, against, against some people's better judgment, beat Porter down in the semi final. They're there on merit. And as you say, 90 minutes to Glen's old history. It's still Glen Torn, no matter what way you look at it. It is, it is Glen Torn. And, and, you know, they've got a, a lot more history than, than, than Cliftonville, but Cliftonville's on a high. You know, they'll be looking to do, well, a treble. You know, they've won the League Cup as well, so they'll be looking for a treble. And maybe, if they, have, they have to be careful, because maybe if they get complacent and come in thinking, we're favourites, we're going to win, and it doesn't happen for them then. You know, I've seen this happen before, especially in a cup final. So, uh, definitely Cliftonville favourites, but don't write Glen Torn off. And a massive boost for Glen Torn too, the fact that Cliftonville have won the League. It means, because they're in the cup final, that they too get European football, and that's much needed cash. All clubs need cash, but much needed cash for uh, Glen Torn. Too. Certainly is, and uh, spoken to Eddie Patterson over the last couple of months, and Tiernan Lynch, one of the coaches there, you know, and they're pushing on. Uh, they've started. The, the confidence has come back to Glen Torn, so it's actually it's it's going to be a, an exciting game. I really do think it'll be close. And whenever you take a look at the the, the cup final, but too many times, Jerry, favourites have gone into into finals and somehow, like if matter of fact, you even take a look at Linfield against uh, Cliftonville in the in the match that clinched the championship. What three minutes into injury time, you must say they get on and and they get a penalty and McMullins throws it away. You couldn't write the script. You couldn't write the script. <laughs> um, the thing is, George has always scored goals. You know, I've watched a lot of their games and he's playing it right back at the moment because of injuries. But he's a great footballer. He always scores goals. His goals are pretty sensational, you know, and it doesn't get bigger than that to score the winning goal for uh, Clevenville to win the, 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 the title, you know, and I think he's dreamed of that since he was a Clevenville supporter when he was a boy. So, you know, good luck to them. But don't be complacent, otherwise you could end up with egg on their on their face. Finally, I have to say to you too, you know, whenever you look at the cup final, we always think about the likes of the Linfields, you know, but the, the big two in Belfast was almost now uh, Cliftonville Crusaders sort of taking them over. But I, I think this is a final that would appeal to the neutral fan as well because both teams like to play football. I know that's a cliche, but they do like to play football. We could be in for a cracking um, a showpiece final, couldn't we? Yeah, I agree. I, I think it's great for Irish League football as well that it's not um, Linfield all the time. You know, Linfield have won five doubles in the last six years. And uh, with the, the finances they've got and everything else, a lot of people thought Linfield would have won the league title, myself included, probably this season. But you have to take your hat off to Crusaders and Cliftonville for the football they've played. And uh, now Glen Torn are starting to fight back. You know, they were league champions themselves a couple of years ago and when uh, the late Alan McDonald was the manager. So uh, I would say it's going to be a great game and it's great for Irish League football.